one man is dead after an attempted carjacking in the town of Gates. This happened on Buell Road around 11 this morning. Police say the incident could be connected to a string of armed carjackings happening around Monroe County. We do have team coverage for you on this tonight. Christian Garzon has more on the connection between this and other crimes. We'll get to him in a moment, but first we turn to Atia Collins live at the scene with more. Atia, what's the latest here? Well, Adam, as Maureen said, police say it happened here on Buell Road at 11 o'clock. They believe two suspects approached one male who was driving his vehicle, attempting to steal the vehicle, an attempt that ended in a gun being pulled, leaving the driver dead. Now, when police arrived on scene, they found a black sedan just past the bridge here on Buell Road. In video, you can see the driver's side window had been shot out. The driver was a 71-year-old Iran Decoit man. Gates police say two suspects attempted to steal his vehicle, one of them was armed. During the attempt, the driver was shot in the upper body. The driver was later taken to Strong Hospital, where he died from his injuries. The driver was the only one in the car at the time. Now, police say they do not believe there was any connection between the driver and the suspects, instead saying he was an innocent victim. And, that, and that's what makes this very scary for all of us, is that we, this appears to be just a totally random uh, who, who they're picking. And, and again, uh, this, this victim today was 71 years old, ju just a random victim uh, who, who got caught up in the middle of this carjacking, and, and, and again, they took his life, you know. Now, the identity of the victim has not been released at this time, and the investigation is still underway. Police do say they are looking for a black passenger car with tinted windows that, will, that could be connected to this incident. Reporting in Gates, Atia Collins, News 8. All right, Atia, thank you. Let's turn now to Christian Garzon, who is also live tonight in Gates. Christian, police believe several incidents like this are linked across Monroe County. What are we learning here? Well, Maureen, police said today we now have 14 likely connected carjackings that have taken place over the past several weeks. Now, as we've seen, they take place in the early evening or early nighttime hours. But as we saw uh, just this morning, add broad daylight now to that equation. Police are saying if you find yourself a victim of one of these carjackings, quote, just leave the car. When it comes to this string of carjackings, police from across the county are saying there isn't yet a pattern. The thieves are not targeting any type of vehicle, demographic of people, or area. This just feels like this is a crime of opportunity. This is a, a network of people that are interested in stolen vehicles at this point. Sergeant Jared Rene with Grease Police this morning went into what he says is the M.O. of these connected culprits and crimes. They're, um, in one instance, they're going to rear-end a car at low speeds, right? Maybe they're stopped at a light and they bump into the back of them. Once the victim exits, the thief holds them up and steals their car. Are. They also follow victims to their homes. As soon as a person exits a vehicle, same thing. Up them in their face at gunpoint, give me your keys, and then they're off. Obviously, we want you to uh, surrender. Gates Police Chief James Van Brederode says after this morning's fatal carjacking that left one Arondequoit man dead, if you find yourself being held up, give up the car. So obviously, you know, the violence has increased as they've gone on with these carjackings and now we're to the point where we, we have a, a serious public safety issue at this point. Renee says he wants the community to key in on situational awareness. If you think something is wrong, call 911 immediately, get to a public place or a police station uh, and just be smart. Now, police did say they have drag nets out and tips coming in, but anyone with any information is asked to please call 911 right away. In Gates, Christian Garzon, News 8, Adam Maureen, back to you.